Hello everyone, we're going to continue our series on infantry, infantry. battle tech. So Taryn and I have been looking into the rules for, now we've we've used battle armour before, Yes, but we've, we've sort of been talking about conventional infantry, which after we've talked about that I can't wait to sort of give them a go. <laughs> but battle armour, since the clans came along, they sort of changed the way that uh, infantry sort of worked and what the options are so we're yeah. going to have a look at battle armor in this video and uh, see, see the, what they do yeah combat rules for battle armor hmm. Swoosh. <laughs> all right so Taryn what is battle armor what is it for most of you guys that are new to this the battle armor that you will know is the clan elemental battle armor suit. Yep. The ones that came in the Kickstarter, the clan box set. Yep. There was like two stands. Two stands in there, yep. In there. Yep. So two <laughs> points, basically. Two nicknamed, points of battle armor in Nicknamed there. toads by the yes. inner sphere when they arrived because they, yeah, they looked a bit weird and they jumped. Yes. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that, that's the, the battle armor, armor that everybody who's new to Battletech will... Um, immediately think of when you say the words yeah. battle armor. Yeah. Everybody will go, oh, those clan things, they're cool. Yeah. There is, um, after they came along, I think before then as well, there were things like um, light power armor and that sort of thing. There was some... That's right. During um, the Star League, before yeah, the clans Star League sort things. of came around. Some of, of those are my favorite infantry units in the world yeah yeah there's some really cool like stealth dudes with like tag and all this sort of stuff yeah and yeah they're all pals power PAL, armor, PAL, like. yeah that's right yeah, yeah. so i mean not um, as not as like oh not as beefy as these ones that the clans had when they rocked up at the no, industry holy crap no. but i tell you what they they had special special infantry dudes for that, well, women as well, whatever. But, Even, you know, called elementals. They were genetically enhanced. Yeah. And they're quite tall. I think they're, they're huge. Like eight, eight feet or something. Yeah. Something, they're something enormous. monstrous. And they're like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, you know. So. Yeah, if, if Arnold Schwarzenegger was, like, basically doubled, <laughs> he was a you, you'd have an elemental. Oh, in but, yeah. <laughs> but they were, basically, they were designed to be, like, a super soldier. Mm. And they designed a suit for them. So the elemental, the sand elemental suit that you see was actually modified by Clan Wolf because it was a underwater mining suit. That's what they did. And they said, oh, I wonder if we can you know, make this into a combat-y thing. Yeah. And they did quite well. Of course we do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I wonder if we can make this combat effective. So they got a suit that can basically have multiple weapons on it and it's sealed in for mm. most environments and things like that. It's yep. it's got a it's got a what they call a hard gel system which helps seal up damage basically and things like that. Up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of little techie equipment. It can jump and it does oh man, the list goes on. But that's and, and there's that's, variants of it as well. There's other Which oh, is insane. Yeah. I, I didn't know that till recently. But yeah, you can get different types of elemental armor. So, weirdness. But that is, is what you think of when you say battle armor to, to new people. That's that's the thing that they think of, is that clan elemental. But there are yep. inner sphere units. There are other clan units. There's all sorts of different types of battle armor. And they're all covered under these combat rules. Yeah. Yeah, so same sort of thing. So we're looking at total warfare again. Uh, yeah, we're starting on 217. 217. So basically at the start of the thing, they're talking about um, like terminology and things like that. So it uses the standard terminology for weapons and bits and pieces. So if they say a small laser in this case, it's a actual... It's an actual, it's an actual small, laser. small laser. They do have um, battle armor... Um, Weapons and equipment tables. I think tech manual starts that yeah. sort of thing. So yeah. they've got different weapons and equipment for battle armor, but they are basically the same as like mech and vehicle stuff. It, mm. It's it's a little tiny proto mech, basically. <laughs> ah, proto mech. Ah, oh, proto mech. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> All right, so uh, let's right. let's combat basics. Combat basics. Well, movement. We talked a little bit about movement. Maybe we should just touch on that again. Uh, well, the I think they follow basically the same thing as 
the um, as the standard infantry. Yeah. So the um, so the the elemental battle armor, the standard stuff, has a they can walk one or jump three. Yeah. Yeah. So the the battle armor, I think, will have its own stats and things. You don't Correct. you don't need to use the table that we had at the beginning that that gives you how many ground points and jump points and all that sort That's of stuff. That's right. Yeah. They are they're they're built up. up the suit is built up with specific movement allowances in it. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So as long as you stick to the standard rules for movement in in that and you apply anything that in, in here that, that applies, then you're fine. Yeah. No biggie. Everybody should be reasonably familiar with movement rules by now. Um, so... We are shooting at things. Yeah. I think the main thing, just like normal infantry, they don't count their movement modifier. No. Which is nice. Uh, and they have a 360 degree arc. Yes. So they don't have um, a facing. You can just pick which way they're shooting. Uh, they do all need to shoot at the same thing, but unlike infantry, you can technically specify a secondary target. Um, so you, you get the standard... Uh, plus one modifier, but different weapons can be targeted at different units. But all the troopers in the attacking unit fire the same weapon at the same target. Yeah, using a single two hit roll. Right. So that's that's the base level thing here. Is is everybody shoots at the same thing? You are allowed to pick a secondary target, but everybody has, else has to everybody has to shoot something else at the secondary target. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's you, the same weapon at the same at the at, at each weapon. target. Yeah. yeah. So you've got clan elementals, they've got the SRM pack, and they've got the laser. Yeah, normally so it's a small laser. You can, you know, yeah, you can shoot your SRM pack, everybody shoots their SRMs at one, and everybody shoots their small laser at somebody else. Yeah. Boom. Done. Not yeah. a problem. Um, yeah. So for non-missile attacks, you roll on the cluster table for the number of troopers in the unit. Yeah, uh, I think we went over this at the beginning with standard stuff, but just in case you forgot, uh, in a spear you've got four troopers in a in a thing of battle armor. Standard, not necessarily set in stone, but yeah. standard yeah. is four for the rules to yeah. play for standard rules as written. Yeah. That's what you've got. Uh, clan is five, and Comstar and Word of Blake is six. Yeah. Okay, so you're rolling on a cluster table based on the number of troopers in the unit to determine how many of them actually scored a hit. Yeah. Single trooper unit always hits. Each trooper whose fire hits inflicts normal damage for the weapon. That will be listed on the sheet for the battle armor. So you'll have your battle armor sheet, which I think we have an example of there. Yeah. Yep. So um, there's a few around the place, but if you look in the back of, back of tech manual, you've got a bunch of blank sheets and this is one of them yeah so, so this is the normal cluster hit table the one you use for mechs the one you use for tanks it's not specific so with the conventional imagery they had their own one that they had to roll on and work all this well, out they, this is just they still roll on the conventional one but they have to do it with a specific thing so the the guys in the conventional infantry are rolling on the 28 table to see how many of that full platoon of dudes hits. Yeah. And then you check this table again when you know how many hit to see how much maximum damage they did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But with battle armor... With battle don't... armor, it's you, you roll on the cluster table and the weapon that you are firing does its own specific damage. damage. They've got a, a weapons and equipment listing thing there. Um, so a small laser does what, like three damage? Three damage, yeah. For a um, clan small laser? Yeah. So you've got five dudes in your clan battle armor unit. That point shoots at one thing. You roll on the five row of the cluster table and each one that comes up as a hit does three points. Three, of three points. Yep. Yep. Um, if, yeah, so you determine hit locations separately. If it's conventional infantry, it's controlling player simply applies the damage. For mechanized infantry, double the damage. Mm. Uh, yeah, and attacks with weapons other than missiles do not track ammunition, which is cool. Give yeah. them a machine gun. Yeah, that's, I thought that was interesting. <laughs> 
that's that's cool. That's a way around it. You can do it. So the um, the standard clan elemental, you've got your main weapon or whatever. The, the, yeah, the small Then laser. you've got your SRMs, but they also have like an anti-personnel weapon, like a secondary weapon. Oh, yeah, they give them like an AP... So yeah, one, thing, arm, yeah. one arm has like a claw, which also you can do, we'll get to that in a second, but it also has like an anti-personnel guard, which is another one. So that's, you can attack another target again, but you only use that against conventional and mechanized. It yeah. only works against them. So, um, and you, you'd only ever get the plus one for each secondary target. So that's, Correct. that's actually pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's not cumulative. So you just yeah. go nuts with them. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that's, that's non-missile attacks. Missile attacks are a bit different. Uh, you determine the number of missiles fired by multiplying the number of troopers in the unit by the size of the launcher. So SRM2 pack. Two for them, yep. You've got five dudes in clan thing. You've got 10 missiles. Then you roll on the cluster table. Of 10, yep. Um, assuming you hit. Then yep. you roll on the cluster table to see how many actually hit. Uh, if the column does not exist for the number of missiles fired, you use the fewest columns to arrive at the appropriate number without exceeding the number of missiles filed. Uh, so if you mount nine missiles in a six-man squad, resulting in 54 missiles, <laughs> you roll twice on the 27. <laughs> 27 by two is 54. So you'd roll twice Ooh. on that. So you'd, you'd have to figure it out like based on your dudes and the cluster table. But nine times out of ten, I'll, I would say ninety-nine times out of a hundred, you're going to be able to find it on here. Yeah, um, yeah that's not a problem. It's only if you go like super high, like fifty-four. This table only goes up to forty. So <laughs> only. <laughs> that's, um, a, that's a lot. Yeah, but I mean that's a that's a lot of damage from like a, just a full a full five man group. They're firing their small lasers and they're fire, They get a single reload. With that SRM two launcher, but mm. still, that's that potential. That's a lot of damage. That's that's Ooh. an SRM ten. Yeah, SRM ten, and you got five small lasers. Um, potential. Oh. Ev even the MMLs that that I was using on my Shadowhawk, they only go up to nine. Mm. So, you know, you're getting a you're getting a decent so shot there. Um, then you just treat it as a missile hit. So every single missile, because it's SRMs, they go separate. Um, other weapon types, if the target is conventional infantry, you simply add the damage. Mechanized infantry, you double it, double it. And then you mark off ammunition on the record sheet for each missile fired. So they'll tell you on your thing how many you have to add, like weight and all that stuff when you're building it to, yeah. to say how many shots you've got. Most of them will be one shots. So your, I'm pretty sure your clan and elementals only get two SRM They shots. get a reload. Yeah. So they go two, reload two, and then they're yeah. empty. Yeah. But unlike the Inner Sphere guys, they don't have to jettison their pack to jump. Yeah. They can jump they safely. They are able to jump safely, oh. which is ridiculous. <laughs> but there you go, such is life. Um, oh, there you go, speaking of anti-personnel weapons. So if a battle army unit carries anti-personnel weapons, follow all the rules for conventional infantry using the rifle ballistic column. Yeah. Uh, and the number of active troopers in the battle army unit to determine range and assign damage. Regardless of how many anti-personnel weapons a battle army unit mounts, it can only make one anti-personnel weapon attack in a turn. So even if you give three. your dude like three AP Gauss rifles, you can only attack one, like make one anti-personnel attack. Yeah. Um, that's right. It will be devastating. Or use the guns on the other, <laughs> yeah, on the other targets. Cause yeah. Always, that's a good weapon. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Um, <clears throat> and then it's Vibro Claws. Which is not specifically shooting. I mentioned before that was for close. You can actually they can actually do close combat, which is which. I mean, it makes sense. You know, yeah. it's a big sort of thing, and it's and we we will eventually get to anti mech uh, combat as well. And these, I'm pretty sure these come in handy for that too. Yeah. Um, but it basically for each each guy that hits or whatever in the squad or whatever, it's you roll. I think you roll on the cluster. Uh, you, you calculate the two hit number as if for a non-missile so attack oh, non -missile. with the number of hits rolled as normal on the cluster, cluster hit table yeah. based on the number of active troopers in the attacking unit. Yeah. So the, the elemental suit has one, so he does one per dude that hits. Yeah. But there are some suits like the Salamander Battle Armor, which I love, has two. Yeah. That gets, that's, 
That's, Which is insane. Get some other cool and stuff you, too. Weird, you apply they? them in groupings by the the, the the dude. So they've got one claw, they're doing one point, point and you yeah. assign each one point separately. Yeah. If they've got two, you assign each two points separately. Uh, against conventional infantry, you just, you just apply. add the damage up and apply it. Um, that's, yeah, they've got some serious level stuff going on. Uh, uh, oh, I don't, don't know. Don't lie my hand-to-hand <laughs> combat. So the, the clan elemental suit has 10 points of armor. Now yep. that is, that's like battle mech armor. That's, it's armor armor. It's crossed off the same way that you cross off yep. normal, everyday oh, battle mech yep. armor or vehicle armor. And then it's got another point for Which the dude the inside. Dude inside. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. But even if you get rid of all 10 points of armor there, the unit is still operational as if it was... Until yeah. you take that single yeah. point, you, take him out. you have to take him out to stop the thing. Yeah. And again, I remember reading in one of the um, novels about the, the suit injecting him with stuff and there's... Oh, the, the hard gel and, and all that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah they're, they're full on. Yeah, full on. Uh, they can be basically cut up and have limbs taken off and all sorts of stuff, and they can still be running around trying to hurt you. So, do not take them for granted. <laughs> no, they are quite nasty. Uh, um, so attacks against battle armor. Yeah, I mean, we want to take them down. Let's they see seem really you, nasty. You get yourself that. a komodo and you're waiting. <laughs> <in. laughs> That's right. You have um, to be like that's that's interesting, isn't it? Because they had no idea really at that stage what what they were and how yeah. to fight them. So they said, "Look, we need a mech to take on these we, things. We've got to have something that that can do like that many. There's usually five of them at a time. We need at least half a dozen things. Let's just whack medium lasers. It's not everything, yeah. <laughs> but the Komodo mech, yeah, a couple of couple of anti missile systems, which would be handy, of course, for those missiles and. Lots of medium lasers, yeah, and, jump um, capable. Yeah, there's at least one version that has tag, which is why I like it. Yeah. 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 And you can use that tag to bring in area of effect weapons. Yes, which, which is, is cool. And we'll talk, <laughs> we're going to talk about that actually, how to take them now. So, um, so, so you are it. always shooting at the unit. You're never picking a single dude. So no. you, you you may end up, you randomize your um, uh, damage location. So you may not end up killing one guy. With like that many lasers, you might all hit one dude, or you might hit multiple dudes, dudes, and they're still yeah. going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you do get a penalty to shoot them because yeah. they're not they they're spread out. Yeah, because there's only like five or whatever, so they're spread out. I think you get you get like a plus one. Yeah, penalty. so you use all standard modifiers, but in addition, all non infantry units modify their two hit numbers by plus one for attacks against battle armor. To account for the spread out formation and tactics. Right. So we'll S- jump into heavy woods. <laughs> That's what I said. Plus four if he jumps. Oh my god. And they got they're like, <coughs> like a three jump, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So they can, they can keep up with an atlas. Oh yeah. So the atlas is yeah. trying to walk away and they can keep up with him and no, just no, keep no, small no. lasering him in the back. Yeah. Um, successful attacking against battle armor. Roll 1d6 for each damage value grouping to determine which battle armor troopers are hit yeah so each grouping strikes a different randomly determined trooper so an act 20 is a group it's that's a grouping right uh an lrm 20 is if you hit with all of them that's four groupings of five five yeah right so each one is determined separately with a d6 roll to see which which unit you hit right so yeah, an Act 20 will wipe one dude. <laughs> that take care of business. It, it still only counts as one grouping, so you can't split that 20 points of damage like tick, 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 tick. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Tick, 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 tick. He's gone. But right, I mean, it, in the novels, you know, a couple of them might line up, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but blam. yeah, no. But no. Um, so you re-roll if the unit does not have that number of troopers or if the result indicates a trooper destroyed already. So... You've hit, you're going to hit. You're going to hit, Just yeah. keep rolling until you've hit. No, no, this proto mech <laughs> crap, you know. Oh, he lifts his leg at the last minute. There's a Bruce Lee dodge and all that sort of stuff. They are cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear, oh dear. So, yeah. As we said, each trooper of a battle army unit has a damage capacity consisting of its armor value plus one, which is the dude inside. Uh, even if all armor has been destroyed, you, as long as you've got that plus one, it still operates at full capacity. Area effect weapons 
apply their damage to every trooper in the unit. Yep, yep. Really handy. Which is just nasty. Which means things like... Uh, Room. Yeah. The one that springs immediately to mind is always artillery. Yeah. Um, but technically, I think minefields count as area of effect as well. Um, there's a couple of other things that are area of effect. But if it is area of effect, it, it applies its damage to all of them. So if you get a 10-point area of effect, it's... 10 points to every single one. They're all naked. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you could get an 11 point area of effect, you can wipe out the point, the point of elementals. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Arrow <laughs> four. Oh, oh dear. So we are, we, like I said, we're going to talk about some of the other boo. There are, there are some battle armor units that are just absolutely yeah. monstrous. Well, we'll, we'll get ourselves through the basic rules and then we're going to have some fun with some um, specifics. Yeah. I've, I've, like I say, I've got a couple of infantry and battle armor ones that I actually really like. Mm. They're very cool. Um, I've only had like one chance to use them in actual games, but they're very, very cool. Yeah. And they do do a good job of stuff if you use them in the right spots. Um, one of the right spots is the subject of the next video, which is anti-mech attacks. Yes. And that's not just for battle armor. <sighs> that is for everybody. infantry can do that too. Yeah. They, they have a skill that lets them do it, then they can do it. And if you're a fan of the commando, you might want might to hang around for that video because there's a little bit of a story oh. for that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to hang around for the video. Mm. So that's it. So that's Battle Arbor. I have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. I can tell you after the video. No, that's no, okay. he's gonna wait. No, no. See, for the people, good man. So that's oh, that's dear. talking a little bit about Battle Arbor, but uh, yeah, join us in the next one, and we talk about uh, having Thank some you. more fun with them. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. Stuff. All good. All right, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.